Hey guys, so I just received the package. I've just gone ahead and just opened the seam because my postage details are on that side. But this is a box that it came in. By the title, you will know what brand this is. Um, so I got this last last week, I think. Please ignore my children. And this is a package. It comes like this. So we'll see if we can like kind of maintain all the packaging because I like to maintain packaging in case I want to resell an item. Um, it kind of gives it better value. So this is what it came in. This is a dust bag for it. Cute dust bag. Um, and then this is the box that it comes in. Oh, I like the box. It's very similar to the way the Louis Vuitton boxes come. Um, in terms of yeah, just the look of it. Uh, very nice though. Um, that's just got the the details. Now, once we take that off, we have got another. I think that's a dust bag. Let me just check. Yep, so, oh, okay. Cute. Um, then we have like a wallet bag or a dust bag, and it's got the AJE written on the drawstring, which is adorable. And then here we have the wallet itself. Again, I like to conserve packaging because if I ever decide, wow, my area is so noisy. If I ever do decide to, you know, resell the item. Um, and whoo, and this is the item that I bought. I um, this comes in black, um, as well. And I think I can't even remember if it came in another color. But I ended up getting the chocolate brown because. I have my black Prada and I also have a um, a Charles and Keith black bag that was a gift from my friend so I didn't need any more black and I didn't have brown so I was like you know what brown is such a beautiful color so I got the brown there was actually another design in their wallet bags that they had but the most prettiest color of that was sold out they did have a yellow but I don't really wear yellow so I was like I'm not gonna get it um, that just would have been a waste um, so this is how it looks on the inside it's got the two um, D rings for the belt uh, for the chain and this oh the chain is so pretty look at that that's a gorgeous gorgeous sign color. and um, the Attachments on this are similar to, or are the same as the Gucci uh, Dionysus. So pretty simple and straightforward. So did I have a lot of photos online of what this would have looked like on the inside? I don't think it did. And I could not find one video of this online. Um, so basically that's a card area, that is the Queen's area. I honestly didn't know how deep or big this was going to be, so I didn't, um, you know, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Uh, Price-wise, this was um, $102, I think. Um, it was 100 and something, and then they had it on sale for 100 This is a wallet on chain, so this is not a full-on bag, so just keep that in mind. Um, if I was to wear this, it would be like just to the shops, or if I was to wear it to match something, it would be to an event. Um, if my husband is coming with me to an event, I don't usually take my keys. If my husband isn't coming with me to an event, then I do have to take my keys. Could always keep these keys in my car if I was going down to the event. But honestly, knowing me, I'd forget them at the door, and that's already full. Like, there is. Unless I had like a keychain or something, I don't think there's any way that my keys are going to fit in here. Um, so we'll just say that's how it is. It doesn't seem to 
warp the design by having my keys in there. Um, my keys are the main thing and then my cards would... Let's just try my cards. I'll just do it quickly off camera just so nothing shows. So that's how it looks with my cards in there. And then if I was to add a phone, it would have to probably just go in there. Um, but I'm using my phone to record. <laughs> um, so I have the iPhone 12 Pro, which is similar in size to this phone. This is an older phone of mine. And we'll just put her in there. And those are the kind of cases I carry. Now that is going to really misshape the So that's basically what I'd carry. Keep in mind this bag is for just going out, um, events and stuff like that. So that's how I would carry it. I feel like the chain itself though is going to mark it. Um, see on the top? I feel like the chain's going to ruin it. That's from the chain. That's how this one looks. This is very loud. That's how this looks. It looks beautiful. I don't think I'm going to do mod shots because um, I'm in my PJs. <laughs> so I just uh, went ahead and tried it on. And as a crossbody, this sits right on my... Um, under my hip, like on my thigh. I am short. <laughs> I'm not tall. I am, I think, 157 centimeters. You could also put this as a one, like what's that, one shoulder bag. And the way you can do that is you can either take both sides and cross them over. And you've got yourself a shorter handle. So you can go around. So take the bag from the corner, go around, and then just loop it back in. And you've got yourself again a shorter cross, um, a shorter one strap, and this just gives it a nicer kind of finish, like a gold trim on top of the bag. So that looks cute. Or you could um, let's see if I can do that. There you go. You've got one of these styles. I don't know what this style's called. So yeah. Uh, there's a few ways to wear it, but I just don't have the room to do like a mod shot type of video. Well, that's it for my bag review. If you guys have any questions, just don't hesitate to drop them below. And if you would like to see any other brand um, or any other bag specifically, let me know. If it's within my budget and I like it, I am happy to get it. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of this one.